Whew. I feel like I'm going shopping, like Black Friday shopping or New Year's Eve shopping, or New Year's Eve, uh, Boxing Day shopping, but I'm not. I am going grocery shopping on a Sunday, a week before Christmas, not even, like five days, you guys. So I need to get it done though. Let's turn on this heated steering wheel. But it is early. It is 8.30 on a Sunday morning. <laughs> and I'm going into town to get groceries for Christmas. Because Christmas is, Christmas is on a Saturday, I believe. And Jenna's coming home late on the Thursday night. Uh, Friday is Christmas Eve and, New and then Christmas Day, right? So I need groceries. Like I purposely have not gone grocery shopping because I needed room in my fridge when I got all of these groceries that I'm getting today. Sorry if I'm like, I haven't had my coffee yet. That is why I feel like my pronunciation isn't that great this morning because I really woke up, I got dressed and I want to be there early. That is my goal. Like I want to be home by noon. So we'll see if that happens, but it, it's going to, I feel like it's going to be chaotic but I'd want to do it today rather than tomorrow because I do have some last minute things to also do tomorrow. So Jimmy was originally going to come with me, but he is still working on that tile job, but I'm going to go by myself. But first, let's go and get coffee. Hold up, I am on my way. I'm in motion. Let's go to the ocean. Yeah, let's go outside. Without freezing Yeah, isn't that amazing? In Christmas times Hi, one horns, what can I get for you? Hi there, can I get a uh, medium coffee please with two cream and two sweetener? Uh, can I pay for the car behind me too, please? Yeah, their order is $14.50. That's fine. All right, Perfect. Yeah. Have a great day. Yes, thank you so much. We'll be chilling and having a good, good time. All right, well, it started to get busy as I was leaving, so I think that was pretty good timing, but I now I'm worried that Costco is going to be busy. You know what? Grocery shopping was so much easier when my girls were little because... They helped so, they actually helped so much because they were very uh, helpful because I was a single parent. Um, they were very, very helpful with me doing things, especially, especially Jenna being the older sister to Zoe. They're two and a half years apart and she was so much help. So, so much help to Zoe. Like when Zoe was little and needed help with her snowshoes or, or her snow boots and her shoes or whatever it was. But now like, <laughs> I don't even have bags like at Superstore you have to pack your own groceries which I don't mind um, but like I don't even have bags to pack I literally have to throw them in the bins that you see there um, and I still was holding up the line like oh it was just so much easier when the girls were with me and when I got home with the groceries um, Jimmy if he's home he will come out as soon as I drive into the driveway and help me with the groceries but he won't be home today until later but the girls would do the same thing. Literally, as soon as I would drive up and open up my trunk, both of the girls would be there to help. I never even had to ask them. Um, so they were a huge help. But anyways, I am off to, I think I'm gonna go to Costco today. I was going to get some like st uh, stocking stuffers, but I don't think I'm gonna do that today because I just wanna kinda get to Costco before it gets crazy busy. Um, and I also gotta go to Winners, but I think I will leave that as well. I think I will leave that as well for Monday, which is tomorrow. Today is Sunday. But I, I mainly wanted to get to Superstore and Costco today. So I think that is what I'm going to do. And then I can save all the fun stuff for tomorrow. Um, but yeah. All right. Let's go to Costco, you guys. I am venturing into Costco. I am returning um, this dog advent calendar. So there was actually like a recall on this. So if anybody has bought one, you need to take it back to Costco right away because it is not approved for your dogs to eat. Luckily, Jenna, we were actually on our way to Banff. This was actually for Cove and Jenna had found it and let us know. So I am returning that first and then let's tackle Costco. We are packed. We are completely filled up in the back. I spent $418 at Costco and I spent, it was over $400 at Superstore.
I, I don't know. Is there like a place where I can get like Christmas to go and just pay like, you know, a quarter of that price? <laughs> but uh, I got everything done. I have a few things that I still need to get. We don't have much freezer space right now. Um, it's all filled with uh, pork and venison. So I need to get like stuff for Christmas Eve because what I plan on Christmas Eve is kind of finger food so that we can kind of enjoy the night, socialize, maybe have a drink. Jimmy does not drink. And honestly, I don't drink um, a lot. Maybe once a year I'll have a couple drinks, but I do not uh, drink a lot at all. Um, so that's kind of my plan for Christmas Eve and then Christmas Day of course we're having the big supper uh, Jenna and her friends said that they're gonna make a Christmas Day brunch for us so I'm really excited about that and then Boxing Day I think we are going to have uh, leftover ham because I will be making a ham for Christmas and scalloped potatoes and you know whatever else kind of goes along with that maybe a salad or something like that but that's kind of my plan for those three days uh, we will be having a full house of 10 people and I'm excited I'm really really happy that there's gonna be like a lot of friends and you know Jimmy's daughter Natasha will be coming down and she will be spending a few days with us as well and it's just it's gonna be a good Christmas I feel it but that's exhausting <laughs> like but there's I don't know I just I, there's a two things that I want to make sure that I there was two things that I wanted to make sure that I got one being a turkey because that had happened to me once where I went out a couple days before Christmas and there was one turkey left and it was a fresh turkey and I spent $80 on that turkey. And I said, never again will I wait last minute to go grocery shopping for Christmas or any holiday for that matter. Um, so I definitely wanted to get done the turkey and I needed to get done the salt beef as well too because Jimmy is from Newfoundland and a traditional meal for them, which he always makes on holidays, is Jake's dinner. So. Those two things I definitely wanted to get and I, I got both of those. So that is it. I'm going home to unload all of these groceries and I will show you guys a haul from the grocery store and from Costco. All the groceries are in. Let's go. Over. I'm ready to get started, but I want this to be known. A full disclaimer. I don't even think there's any keto foods in this haul. I'll be honest. <laughs> this was for over Christmas. We have a lot of people coming. I am the only one that is keto. So just keep that in mind, please, when I'm going over everything, because I don't want, you know, people to say, holy, you're buying a lot of crap. Yes, yes I am because it is Christmas time and this is probably the one time of year that I bake all the goodies and we have all the crap. <laughs> so let's get started. I'm gonna go over the Superstore grocery haul first and then we will get into Costco. All right, Ivy is up here, which I'm so excited. If you guys have been following me along, you guys know that she is, well, she's not really scared of the dogs it's just that aries just gets a little bit too in her face so she is up here visiting me which i'm excited i actually have the dogs in their kennels right now um so ivy will be up here for a little bit because like i said zoe is gone she is dog sitting and you know ivy is a pet too so she needs her loving and you can tell like she's rubbing against <laughs> she's rubbing against the uh grocery bin because she loves attention and i think she's really missing zoe for that Anyways, let's get started. All right, so I actually was looking for a toner, but they never had any toners at Superstore. But I got this. This is my favorite cleansing um, for makeup. Like, I don't wear a ton of makeup, but I do wear mascara. And to get mascara off, I always need something a little bit stronger than just my face wash. This is really, really good stuff. So 
Um, I got some of these and then what I normally do is I just put a little bit on a cotton pad and then um, hold it up to my eye. I hold it for like 10 seconds. I try not to rub it too, too much and then it usually comes off quite easily. So I'm going to have a look for toner maybe at um, Winners uh, when I go there on Monday. But I didn't find any toner at Superstore and it's a grocery store so I'm not surprised. I got some apples. These apples were marked down but they're actually actually all in really, really good shape. And I'm not too worried because I am making apple pie. I make homemade apple pie every Christmas. It is the one thing that, well, I make everything homemade honestly at Christmas time. Absolutely everything from the goodies, the apple pie, everything, the pierogies. I usually make everything homemade, cabbage rolls. Jimmy has his jig dinners. I will go over our menu plan for the di for Christmas. Um, but anyways, I'm making, I'm making apple pie. Of course, I needed to get some more potatoes. I already have about a little less than a 10 pound bag, but I got another 10 pound bag of potatoes and then got some chips got some plain wavy ones some white cheddar poppables and some lays barbecue also picked up some blueberry cheerios zoe loves those and jimmy was of course jimmy was complaining that there was no snacks in the house because i was waiting to get groceries up until like my christmas haul but i ended up getting him some pirate cookies these are like a peanut butter oatmeal cookie uh, so that is for him. He absolutely loves these cheese, cheese nibs. So I did get two boxes and I got some oat and dark chocolate crunchy nature valley granola bars. And then I decided that, um, well, I'll go over this once again. Hi, Ivy. You got to stay out of my plants. You got to stay out of my plants, girl. And you got to not break that. Oh my gosh. One moment, please. All right, I am going to be having meat and cheese trays, so I bought some Ritz crackers for that. I actually got two different kinds of crackers. These crackers are really, really good. The Vin Vinta, very, very good crackers if you are on a lookout for like a decent cracker to go with your meat and cheese. And a loaf of bread. I just got one loaf of bread. This will probably last us until Christmas. And then I do need to go out closer to Christmas just to get a couple, couple things. All right, now we're getting into our baking stuff. So I have a, probably about eight things that I do bake. They're between squares, cookies, and different things. So I will definitely be sharing that with you once Christmas comes. Um, hopefully I will get them all done. But there's usually, I would say, probably about eight different things that I bake. And plus apple pie. Gives kind of a variety. So I needed some white chocolate chips. So I got two packages of those. Then I needed some sweetened condensed milk. I am making butter tarts, so for my butter tarts, I need some grade A maple syrup. And there's a recipe that I wanna try. I think it's called like O. Henry Bar. I'll have to look it up again. I just briefly looked over it. Um, and it calls for uh, honey graham wafers. But I could not find any crumbs, like graham wafer crumbs. So um, I'm just gonna have to like crumble these up myself, which is no big deal. Oh my gosh, Ivy, you are just, she, sorry, she is seeking attention. So I'm very, very sorry for that. But like, look at this cat. I'm, I'm sorry, I'll give you love in a second. All right, I needed some more um, oats because I am going to be making, um, well, a few things that involve oats. Oh my gosh, Ivy, you're so funny. You are so funny. Okay, and then some icing sugar. I only had one package. Need another one of icing sugar. Making Nanaimo bars. Of course, Canadian Nanaimo bars and butter tarts. So I needed some coconut. Needed some more uh, cocoa or cocoa, however you pronounce it. Um, and then I needed some dry, dried cranberries. So for the white chocolate and the dried cranberries, actually Zoe makes a cookie. It's a soft cranberry white chocolate cookie it is amazing so that is what that is mainly for and bought some molasses because for jigs dinner which is a traditional meal in newfoundland um it actually has a what is it i think it's called like a molasses pudding as a side dish it's it reminds me of a dessert but it is served with their oh my goodness it 
It's like a child. It is served with their um, Jigs dinner as well. So I needed a new one of that. I make matrimonial squares or date squares. My dad absolutely loves them. And I make them every year. So I needed some dates. Jimmy loves, loves uh, fruitcake. <laughs> so I do not make fruitcake. Actually, all of my recipes that I make, um, well, like I had mentioned, I'm going to try the O. Henry bars, and I believe they have nuts in them. But everything that I make every year does not have nuts because I am allergic to nuts, and it's I do not bake with it. I can't handle it. Like, my hands, my, the smell, like, I would break out if my hands touched them. The smell nauseates me. <laughs> so I end up buying a fruitcake for Jimmy every year, and the, this is the kind that he likes. And I got some shells, some sweetened tart shells, because I usually make my butter tarts like with my pie crust recipe. But I'm worried that I might have to make two pies this year. And I make a bottom and a top for my pie, for my apple pies. So I'm just worried that I'm not going to have enough pastry for my um, tart shells like my homemade part tart shells so I ended up buying this just in case and I can use this to make the butter tarts so just got that just in case of course I got uh, two pounds of butter I got two of those got some orange juice this one is actually pulp free this will be probably for Christmas morning and then Jimmy loves his orange juice with pulp so I got one of each of those Needed a refill on my silk half and half oat and coconut. I have mentioned this before. This stuff is life changing. One of my friends, Kelsey, is the one who got me onto this. It is so good. I have been using this in my frother and I am hooked on that frother. If you guys don't have one, I highly recommend getting a frother. Like it is life changing for your coffee. But this is for one tablespoon, it is one carb. And I am allergic to all nuts. Therefore, it's really, really hard for me to find like a decent creamer that is like really good. But this one is so good. I find it at Superstore in the naturals selection. So, um, uh, that's just a suggestion. I'm not sure if it's everywhere, but um, keep, it, keep on a lookout. All right, and then I did get a couple more creamer. So Jimmy uses this Southern Pecan, so I got a refill of that. And then I ended up getting the white chocolate mocha from Starbucks just to have kind of like a variety. I might get one more um, just to have like a variety once we have company for the coffees in the morning. And I got some of these ice drinks. These are the pineapple one. Zoe absolutely loves these, so I ended up getting two of those for her. And got some more of the chicken stock because this we can always use. And I think I was getting low on my chicken stock. And I didn't want to run out once it came Christmas time. And got two cans of the crisp corn and also a can of the cream style corn just for Christmas dinner. And then I also picked up some chicken breasts. These were on sale for 30% off and I will just throw them in the freezer. Obviously this won't be for Christmas time, but I always try to take advantage of chicken when it's on sale and then I can just throw this in the freezer. So for Jig's dinner, what it includes for the vegetables is a cabbage, carrots, and turnip. So you kind of boil all those and potatoes and as well as salt beef. So you boil all those together and it kind of reminds me of like, um, it's, it's a boiled, boiled dinner. I can't remember the name of it right now, but anyways, I got those for Christmas dinner. These here are stocking stuffers. So I got those, not that I don't think really anybody in my family watches my videos. I'll be honest, but still, those are just some of the stocking stuffers. This is the salt beef. So, um, I'm not going to open it, but this is what it is. Um, you actually boil it Jimmy boils it twice, so he will actually put it in a uh, pot of water. You boil it for like, I don't even know what the, the story or the procedure is for Jake's dinner, but you boil it for a couple hours, then you drain it, and then you boil it again. And then that's when you add your vegetables like your turnip and your carrots. And then an hour after that, you add your cabbage. And then an hour after that, you add your potatoes. It's an ordeal. Jimmy always cooks our major holiday so he will be cooking Christmas dinner 
We have the turkey, you guys. I managed to snag this turkey. I want to say they were $1.99 a pound. Um, but like I mentioned my little story, I did not want to wait until last minute to buy them because usually they will be on sale for $0.99 cents a pound. But this turkey worked out to be... I don't even know. I can't even remember. But anyways, it was a good deal. This is about a 20 pound turkey. We are going to be deep frying our turkey this year. And uh, so that is kind of like the maximum size that we can get in order for it to fit in the deep fryer, right? So turkey is done and secured. All right, so that is all from Superstore, I believe. And let's go on to Costco now. I will share with you the amounts from each place, but let's continue on with our Costco haul. All right, so this happened when I was uh, carrying in the groceries. <laughs> so I ended up getting, we had these at work for uh, lunch and I think it was like Thursday or something like that. Um, but they were so good. They're the Costco cheese buns, but yeah, the bag broke on me, which is okay. I have big Ziploc bags, thank goodness. Oh, this is my frother, you guys. You would have seen me, actually, no, I didn't show that vlog, but I had made it yesterday. I ran out of my creamer today, so I got a coffee in town like you've seen, but this is my frother and I absolutely love it. So I will try to find it on Amazon and link it in my Amazon favorites, but this is amazing. Well worth the money. I was kind of on the fence. I'll be on it, but it's perfect. Okay. And for Jimmy, I needed a couple more things just for him for Christmas, so I found this it's kind of like a lumberjack shirt. I don't know exactly what you want to call it, but it's all fuzzy inside and plaid blue on the outside. And Costco had these for $19. So I thought that was a really good deal because Jimmy is always looking for something to like throw on and go out into the workshop or what have you. And I just didn't want to get him like a heavy jacket. I just kind of wanted to get him one that he can throw on. Uh, I got a couple things for Alex, which is Jimmy's oldest son. So some sweatpants and a shirt. They have really, really good prices for clothing if you guys are looking for Christmas gifts. Also got some eggs. I got the 30 pack of eggs. We needed some more Q-tips. So I get them at Costco because I usually, one goes to Jenna, one goes to Zoe, and then one is for us. So it works out great to have a three pack. So I also got this from Costco and some chocolate milk. Jimmy needs to take milk when he takes one of his pills. So um, Jimmy has a lot of pills that he has to take. He actually has an inflamed esophagus. He has an ulcer and you know he has nerve nerve damage and nerve pain, but he, he does not take any um, narcotics like as far as um, addictive drugs whatsoever, but they are prescribed by his doctor and some of them, I think one of them needs to be taken, probably his ulcer needs to be taken with milk. So I always have chocolate milk on hand. Of course, had to pick up eggnog. Tis the season, right? Zoe actually loves eggnog, which is kind of funny because she does not like eggs at all, like egg whites, egg yolks, nothing, <laughs> but she absolutely loves eggnog. So I got one of these. I may need to get another one. Um, but like I said, she is dog sitting, so she is not home right now, probably until closer to Christmas. So this might be enough. <laughs> I ended up getting um, some cereal bowls because I was thinking since we are having company, um, this may be just easy to kind of pick a cereal and make it yourself and, you know, not waste uh, like a bowl for doing dishes. And it's just kind of handy and easy to make or even for a snack. So I got those. And then I decided that we are going to be doing paper plates. Please don't judge me. <laughs> we will be doing paper plates for Christmas Eve and Boxing Day. I cannot do paper plates for Christmas Day supper. I just cannot do it. So we will be having um, regular plates for Christmas dinner. But with 10 people at my house for three days, yeah, I, I feel like this is a necessity. <laughs> all right, needed some chocolate chips for all the baking that I'm doing. So the best price is at Costco. This is a big 2.4 kilogram bag. So probably even more than what I need, but I always like to have chocolate chips on hand as well. Ended up getting two of the real whipped cream just for like the apple pie maybe. I probably will also get some vanilla ice cream. And I needed some more light bulbs. I have no idea where light bulbs 
have gone. I thought we had like a box full of them, but I needed some light bulbs. So I picked up those at Costco as well. Best price for heavy whipping cream is definitely at Costco. So I picked up one. I don't think I'll need more than one, but I'll double check once it gets closer to Christmas. I just wanted to really get all of the major things out of the way. Um, and then I can always, you know, pick up a few things last minute. Picked up the three pack of cream cheese at Costco. Always has the best price. All right, and then to go with those cheese buns, I actually was thinking of those cheese buns for like Jimmy for this last week before Christmas for lunches. And I always get the ham from Costco. Um, I get the smoked black forest ham, the maple leaf natural selections. It is my favorite. My whole family absolutely loves it. And then to go with that, I thought some pepper jack cheese would be good. Really, really simple. It's already sliced for you. Of course, you guys already know, da, 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 I needed more egg whites. So in the new year, definitely still gonna be making that protein sparing modified fast bread. So had to pick up some more egg whites. All right, this is, um, I actually bought this book for myself. I'm gonna wrap it and I'm gonna give it to myself as a Christmas gift. Zoe, um, I ended up getting her the first one that you are a badass and it's really good. So she's gonna pass that along to me to read, but I think this is kind of like the next the next series. I, you definitely don't need to read the first one in order to read this one, but thought that would be nice just as a little gift for myself. I got some sleeping pills. Jimmy has insomnia, so he takes these once in a while if he really, really cannot sleep. And then I got some of the coconut keto clusters. I absolutely love these. I haven't gotten these since hunting season. It was a great snack. So I decided that I would get that over Christmas time. Jimmy with his sesame seed snaps. I usually give him a choice. I usually like, it's either the chocolate cover almonds or the sesame seed snaps. So he chose the sesame seed snaps this time. Picked up the butter chicken. It comes in a two pack. And I must say, this is probably the best butter chicken sauce that I have found. It's, it's not a huge amount, that's another reason, but it's the best tasting in my opinion more um, dog treats for the dogs and then i ended up getting a couple more gifts for um actually i got a gift for my sister-in-law and also for zoe so i don't know if zoe's really big into puzzles but i always thought puzzles is a great gift so my brother's um girlfriend is huge into puzzles so i think i'm going to give her I think I'm gonna give her this one here. This one here is a book one, and it's a thousand piece puzzle. And then this one here I'm going to give to Zoe for Christmas because I thought that would kind of be like a good little pastime for her. She's really like my artsy girl and likes to spend time on like, you know, relaxing things. She's an introvert, you know, so she likes doing sort of those sort of things. So I thought this would maybe be a good idea for her as a Christmas gift. So I got that. And then for Jimmy's, well, for our grandson is Zidane. He is, I believe he just turned seven. So we ended up, or I ended up finding a couple Christmas gifts there for him. So this one here is like a Nerf gun thing that you can play. And so I got him that. And then also ended up getting, this is like a kid zone VTech smart watch. And you know, I thought that was pretty cool and that he would think that that was pretty awesome to have so he can have a little smart watch himself. Then I also picked up some paper towel from Costco and some toilet paper from Costco. I usually get my toilet paper, paper towel, and my Kleenex from Costco all the time. And then I know that I'm good for like a couple months. All right, so the plan, for the meals, I'm gonna quickly, sorry it's so white, it's just really, really bright outside and with the snow it kind of reflects really, really white. Um, but I'm gonna quickly go over our brief meal plan <laughs> for the three days. So I plan on Christmas Eve having kind of like finger food, so that is going to be like some potato skins, some matzah, matzah um, sticks, some wings, meat and cheese, crackers, 
chips things of that nature it's just going to be really kind of low key we're not really going to do like a meal per se and i think i'm going to try to find some of those sliders as well like i mentioned we don't have a lot of freezer space right now so i'm going to have to buy those like closer to the day um but that's what I plan on having for Christmas Eve. And then Christmas Day, um, Jimmy, sorry, Christmas Day, Jenna and her friends are going to be making a brunch. Not sure exactly what that's going to entail. She's gonna send me some grocery, a grocery list. Um, and then for Christmas dinner, we are going to be having Jake's dinner, which um, is a Newfoundland tradition. And then I usually make pierogies and cabbage rolls because i am from german descent so our traditional christmas dinner has always been like pierogies cabbage rolls turkey uh, with all the fixings um so i think i might make that i'm kind of on the fence right now because there's actually quite a bit of food that i do want to make that day um because we want to make a moose roast i want to make a ham and I wanna make some of our deer sausage. So it's gonna be those three items for sure with Jig's dinner. And then I'm kind of on the fence about the cabbage rolls and the pierogies. If I do make some, I'm not gonna make that much because even though we are having 10 people here, we're still gonna have a lot of food. <laughs> so we will have, obviously with that, we'll have corn, stuffing, um, you know, buns, like just kind of like your traditional Christmas meal other than like the Jigs dinner and stuff. Depending on where you're from, I'm sure everybody has their traditions that they have. And you know, that's kind of been our tradition is kind of to like um, use both like from my traditions and jimmy's traditions and make them our own so that's what we tend on doing for christmas day supper and then for boxing day i am going to be doing uh left leftover ham and whatever kind of leftovers anybody wants but i think i'm going to make like scalloped potatoes for supper haven't figured out like a brunch but we might just have like cold plate and extras and leftovers and like a turkey bun or something like that haven't quite decided but that is going to be kind of like my meal menu plan for those three days. I know that I am going to be off keto on Christmas day. Um, and then I think New Year's, or New Year's, and then I think Christmas Eve, I am just gonna nibble on keto items like meat and cheese. I'm not gonna be tracking my macros though, but I'm gonna be t keeping it keto. And same with Boxing Day, because Boxing Day, we always go into town, It is it is a huge, sale boxing day is is big it's kind of like black friday in the states and so we leave here in the morning and you know do all of our shopping and it's kind of been a tradition for me and my girls and so that is what we are planning on doing on boxing day and then i think everybody kind of goes home actually that evening so that is what i have planned you know it's hard to believe that all of that food is just for three days but obviously it's going to last us a lot longer anyways but let me tell you the totals from both places. Okay, Costco total was $418.45. So at Superstore, the total was $446.86. However, I did get a $200 um, gift card, like a Visa gift card for Jimmy. That's gonna be part of his Christmas gift for his gun. Um, so that is included in that price as well. So technically, just the food part was $246.86. All right, so time to put all of this away. That is the worst part is bringing it all in, putting it all away, especially when I'm home, home alone. But let's do cheese. Hold up. I forgot. I think I forgot in yesterday's video because yesterday was a pre-recorded video with Jimmy and I with the Q&A. If you haven't seen that video, make sure you go and watch it. Let's do the cheese. All right, I am going to do, what is the date today? Today is the 19th, so I'm gonna do the 19th and the 20th. Okay, 19th. Applewood. And we are going to do the 20th. We're getting close. Does this go to 25 or is it just 24? Just goes to 24. Why do I have, why is 13 not opened? <laughs> this is the, Red Lester. Okay, I don't know why 13 isn't open, but we're gonna open up 13. I must have missed a day. Oh, 
yay, white cheddar. I absolutely love this white cheddar. Okay, let's double check to make sure that we're on the right day now. Okay, 21, 22, 23, 24, yes, okay. We got all of them, okay, perfect. So we have, we have four more days left on this calendar. So depending on how my days go, I do have um, one pre-recorded video that I have done. So I'm not sure when I'll be putting that live, but don't worry guys, we'll get through this together. <laughs> All right, we will see you guys tomorrow.